right, another short video. <sighs> right, I've gone through Horner Wall Wood, following the stream. Beautiful. But this is where I've come away from this now, because this is taking me on a huge diversion <sighs> over to all over there, to Bosington and up the beach, which is all right. But I thought there would have been another way, and I found this pathway going over a little hump bridge. Met this woman with a stick, but she said she's never been that far up here. So, but she assures me that it's signposted to Porlock, and it is. And Porlock's only three quarters of a mile away. So, though I would have done all over there, and but that wasn't in my plan today to do all that, you know. Not really, not all that, over to Bosington and then, no. <sighs> Let's just hope this gets me. Now, th there's a camping site there. It looks very clean, tidy, very organised. Um, I don't know if it's a camping caravan club one, but it's, it's very in a very beautiful spot. Burrow Hayes, it's called. There's Bossington Hill over there. I had spotted this... Uh, on the map, this campsite. Um, but it does look very, very tidy. I like the one I'm on actually, a bit rough and ready. I, I quite like that really, to be honest, because I'm a bit rough and ready. And uh, that's the problem with the camping and caravan club. They are so <sighs> military, if you like. Now there's some. Um, a hill there leading to Bosington Hill. I've been through all these woods before and then if we go over there, look, we're back to where we've got our little white tower that I picked up earlier in the day. Our little church there at Selworthy. Um, but the way they wanted me to go, I'd be wandering all over there at this time of day. No way, that wasn't the plan. Now, just above me up there will be the road that I saw earlier and I spotted a track down here. I spotted a track. And I could also see the white church. So basically, I'm just, there's another signpost coming up. I thought I'd come back on because it's near the end of the walk now, just to tidy up ends. Um, um, the booklet was, is quite confusing. It doesn't link, link up very well with... See, there's a walk up there since no, the signposts go, see? Look. The signposts go, so where does this go? We're going to follow this. We'll follow the Coleridge Walk up here. This is us to Porlock. Okay? So one way or another, I have been doing more of um, the Coleridge Walk. There's bits and loads of gaps, you know. I'm going to take a picture. Hold on. All right, final video of today. There's the Honeycutt Estate, which I've been roaming all about. I've been all in this Horner Wood here. I don't know where St. Pero is. It's over here somewhere, but I've been all up and round, and I've done all that. Somebody wanted to send me sort of up that way. Glad I didn't. It's not far now. I met some locals anyway. And... Uh, it's, it's fortunate there was an old woman on a bridge. I not. I noticed this old, very old stone bridge, and I thought that's perfect for. That looks like the sort of thing I could do, and it picked up the Coleridge Way. So they hadn't mentioned the Coleridge Way. The, that book was going to send me all the way over to Bosington. So although it did very well. Um, there's Bosington Hill. I would have been having to roam all the way over there. God, it would have taken hours. I would have done it, of course, if I didn't know about this route. 
So this is the final video of today. Um, it's going to be about five o'clock when I get back. And uh, that's about right for today actually because I've got a lot of um, things to do. I've got to get an early start. I need to go to um, the bus stop because I need to get like an earliest the type of early start. I thought I'd get the bus about nine o'clock. I don't know if this is still the Coleridge way, by the way. Because with Coleridge, they weave you in and out everywhere. But we're going in the right direction now. We're going in the right direction. So it's only a short video because I'm going to be very tight for memory. I've definitely got enough for tomorrow, but I might have to try and get another memory card for the final day because normally I've had a 32er but I'm using the memory cards for storage now um, you know they're being used as an alternative way to keep stuff So it's been a good day. I, I can feel that I didn't want to, I'm glad I never did the Bosington route because that would have been really quite a big hike on top of what I've already done. So I'm quite glad to be walking down here now. I still don't know where I'm going exactly but I know Porlock's down the bottom of this hill and it was a minute ago it was only half a mile. Over and out.